This patch uses two low-pass filters in parallel to simulate a long ringing bell or gong sound. Two VCOs are tuned to a perfect fourth apart and then ring modded together. The result of this is patched to one filter, while the unaltered output of one of the VCOs is patched to the other. They are then mixed together and gated using a percussive envelope with a long tail. Of course, the QPAS is actually not two filters, but four. This will work to our advantage by adding depth and complexity to the sound. So here are the two VCOs tuned to a fourth. We'll ring mod them together and send that to the left input of QPAS. We'll then molt the triangle from the left VCO and send that to the right input. The diagram shows a mixer, but we can skip that because if we only use the left low pass output, the cores of the QPAS are all summed together. We'll patch this output to a channel of the Optimix and gate it with a long tailed percussive envelope. The last piece of this puzzle is a low frequency oscillator that subtly modulates the left VCO, taking it gradually in and out of tune with the right one and creating a slow beat pattern. Strange also suggests using this to simultaneously and also subtly modulate the filter that this VCO is patched through. We'll do that via radiate right. Let's make this into a little bit of a sequence. and add a little reverb. Strange notes that low Q setting is essential, writing, note that a homogeneous timbre is achieved by having minimum Q. Even a moderately high Q would amplify various partials and disturb the mellowness of the desired sound. So I have followed this instruction thus far, but you probably noticed that these modules all say make noise on the panel. So why stop there? Why stop anywhere? Let's increase the Q and modulate the radiate controls to take a step away from reality.